Hi, I'm Steve Root, this is Root's Kitchens, Bedrooms, Bathrooms and today I'd like to talk to you about extractors and in particular the type of extractor that's built into a hob where the air is drawn down through the hob rather than rises up above. We'll talk about what extractors do first of all and then we'll talk about how these extractors work and whether this is an effective uh, solution for removing the moisture from the air. So firstly what do extractors do? They do two jobs. The first thing they do is they catch all the moisture and the grease coming off the food that you're cooking uh, and they catch it on the filter of the extractor rather than let the units around your extractor uh, catch it instead. So they reduce the amount of cleaning you do. Uh, the extractors have filters built into them and the filters like this metal filter here can then go in the dishwasher when they need cleaning. The second thing an extractor does is remove the smells of cooking. So there's two ways it can do that. The first is the extractor can be ducted outside, uh, but if you can't duct outside then you can have carbon filters. Carbon filters, like this particular filter here, this carbon filter goes with this hob and is designed to go into the plinth. Normally on the ones that are mounted uh, above you, they'll be, be removable from the top. Um, the carbon filter catches the odours and the smells um, uh, as the air go, it gets recirculated back into the room. We've had extractors for a long time and they've always been over the top of the hob, but there's been a growing trend for a new style of extractor which is built into the hob, like this one here in our showroom. So we're going to experiment with this and see how it works. The way we're going to do this, the first thing you're going to see is the steam coming off this pot of water. Um, and when the extractor is not turned on, you should see it around in the air. And when I turn the extractor on, you should see it all being drawn down through the extractor itself. But just because we can, what I've done is I've built myself here a little Raspberry Pi computer with a humidistat sensor built onto it as well. There's humidity and temperature. And then I've written a little program that graphs continuously what the humidity and the temperature is. So just to see if this works, what I can do is uh, stand up and go, breathe onto the uh, sensor itself. And what we should see is after a second or so, because there's a second or so delay on the recording, um, uh, there we go, that's detected the moisture of my breath. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this hob on. I'll leave the extractor element turned off um, until we see steam rising. And as we see the steam rising, we should see this, the humidity detected on our graph. When I turn the extractor on, what I'd like to see is that the uh, humidity goes back to where it would normally be um, if we weren't cooking. So let's turn this on and see how we go. Uh, it'll probably take a minute or two for the uh, pan to start uh, uh, showing some steam. So uh, I'll speed up. Okay, I'm already getting a little bit of steam coming off this pan. Okay, the steam is rising. And we're starting to see a little bit of moisture being detected by the sensor. So now I'm going to put the extractor on full power. I'm sure it'll take a few seconds to start drawing the air down the right direction. So already we can see the steam coming straight off the pan going into the extractor. And there we have it. All of that steam was being drawn down into the extractor, uh, and we can see that on our humidity sensor as well as actually seeing the steam itself. Um, I'll turn that off. Um, so, if you've been wondering about whether these extractors are worth having, um, the answer is they're very effective. They are brilliant when you've got island arrangements like this, so you don't have to keep ducking under an extractor if you're talking to people or cooking. Um, my name's Steve Root. I hope you found this useful. This is Root's Kitchens, Bedrooms, Bathrooms. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. If you found it useful, please click like. If you're looking for a kitchen, bedroom and bathroom done well, and you live local to our showroom in Faversham, please come and visit our shop. But any other questions, leave comments and I'll do my best to answer them all.